Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a very nice indices problem where we have 0.25 raised to x equals to x and we need to obviously find the value of x. Now see understand when you have something like this okay so let me do this on another page we have 0.25 the whole raised to x is equals to x okay. So when you have something like this first we will convert the decimal into a fraction so this can be written as what 25 upon 100 the whole raised to x equals to x so now this comes out to be what 1 upon 4 the whole raised to x equals to x okay now what we will do is see 1 upon 4 okay so we can also write this as what 1 raised to x upon 4 raised to x equals to x and we know that 1 raised to any number will always be what 1. So we have what 1 upon 4 raised to x equals to x. Now shifting, we'll take the x on this side and 4 raised to x on this side. So what we'll have is 1 upon x equals to 4 raised to x. Now I want the, all the variables on one side. So I'll take what x root on both sides of the equal to. So we know that when I take the x root, the x and this x also cancels. And this will be what 1 upon x, the whole raised to 1 upon x equals to 4. Now students, I can write 1 upon x, the whole raised to 1 upon x. And this 4 can be written as what 2 raised to 2. Now in indices, when the bases and the indices are equal on either side of the equal to, I can directly say that the base and the the base on both sides of the equal to are equal. So I can say 1 upon x equals to 2. Therefore, I can say x value is nothing but what 1 upon 2. Now if you want, let's put it over here. So we'll say we'll say what? Instead of 0, just we'll write what 0 0.25, the whole raised to half. So this can be written as what 25 upon 100. And half is nothing but what putting a square root. That gets you what 5 upon 10. That is eventually getting you 1 upon 2. And that is the value of x and which is also equal to x in our original question. So I can say the value which is x equals to half is absolutely correct for this particular question. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.